Hello everyone, I'm Honeywell and welcome back to our next episode of our colony ship challenge. Um, when we last left off we made a big push to to get our base ready for intruders and visitors. And the visitors are showing up and we are not ready for well, we're actually really not ready for them or intruders. So we're going to slow down this episode um, and fill in all of the gaps in in our base. Uh, one, we can round out our base, make it more efficient, um, filling in some of the missing connections. We also want to get some guns produced. Um, we have a telescope. So we can put up an anti-meteor laser, and that is not done. Uh, so there's quite a bit that we want to do. I think... And we're at 104 prestige, so we can be attacked at any time. Um, so what do we want to do first? I don't even know. I think we'll go ahead and let one there, one there. We're going to put in another spares workshop, um, which hopefully will allow some more semiconductors to be built. Um, because we're going to need at least two, I think, for our anti-meteor laser. Let's see. At least two for that. Maybe we halt our bots after this one. Uh, but we're down to three carrier bots. We're not going to do that. They did a good job of halting their own construction. One, two, three, four, five. So we have one metal. I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go around one by one, making connections. One by one, making connections, and that will be good. We have one gun. Let's turn off visitors for a moment. We're going to crank up our guards. We're going to turn off visitors and traders, crank up our guards, get in a colonist ship, hopefully full of guards, and at least we'll have one armed in case we're unlucky and we get intruders right off the bat. So let's uh, put in a security console there. We have that open for uh, a round of guards. And then we can keep our visitors open as per usual. I mean, and if, if worse comes to worse, we'll just do a red alert and, and hopefully our colonists will pummel the attackers and not too many will die. Yeah, exciting. Okay, and we did a count. Uh, this is something that you'll want to uh, keep in mind as as we're playing. I usually have like a kind of a mental note of how many machines I have that take metal. So for right now, I have in my mind, I kind of subtract five from the total that I have here. And for the plastic, I subtract ten. Um, and included in that number, all of these... Uh, medical workbenches take plastic. All of these machines take plastic, so that way I, I kind of have a better idea of what I have to work with. And we have a ton of plastic, so let's start spending some of it. One of the reasons why I bought so much starch was I wanted to be able to continue to manufacture our medical kits 
because that's the first thing that suffers uh, from a lack of starch. Just the same way that our spares and everything else suffered from uh, not having starch. I wonder if I can even afford that water fountain. Yeah, we should be fine. I'm going to go ahead and put in another meal maker uh, because we have a bit of a, we have plenty to go around there. And we have another metal that we can uh, fill in one of these connections. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we have two metals, so we're going to fill in two connections. Yeah, what is our status? We're good. I just wanted to make sure uh, that wasn't why we weren't receiving any uh, colonists. And that's something that we're going to have to correct too. Um, this landing pad over here, I the whole reason why we built this whole flight pad was to funnel everybody into the security room. So I really need to take down this landing pad over here because visitors are just as likely to come in through a small landing pad as they are your starports. And oh, let's see what we have here. Two guards, that's fine. I mean, it's, it's something, right? Uh, we're going to turn on traders. I'm going to turn on traders and leave and leave colonists and visitors off. Uh, one, because we only have this one flight pad available, and I really hope that we get a driller bot patent, a constructor bot patent, or a colossal solar panel. Um, and if I don't have an open flight path, we're really putting ourselves behind the curve by not by not being open to traders, and the first part of the game, we really lost a lot of grounds um, because we didn't have anything to trade. So it's still it's pretty far, far in the game to what are we day thirty seven? Wow, <laughs> uh, when I did the express express colony thing, I think I had a hundred a hundred in like twenty two days, so. So we're, uh, we're moving a little slow. Slow but sure, I guess, right? And medical supplies, so we'll dismiss them. All of the, all of the ships are color-coded. I don't know all of them. I know the blue ones generally have things that I like. Uh, the brown, the brown, or maybe it's maroon, and the red ships are food and medical supplies, which I'm... I don't know that I've ever been interested in those. And... Ew. One more connection. Actually, we could do two more connections. Well, let's do this one. And then as we get these things connected, um, people can shoot straight down here to come to the cafeteria. If there's only a small table in this canteen, so, so people may not, there may not be a spot for people to eat, so I want everyone to be, to be able to access the larger canteen easily. And then as soon as we have the interior connections in, we are going to, we're going to move our our landing pad over to this side of the map and then we really need to start to fix up our fix up our power grid what time is it um, I need a couple more batteries you can see we're almost at the end of the day we still have one in reserve uh, but I I'm pretty sure I'm generating enough power to to fill up more more power collectors so I want to always do that And I want to straighten all that out. I want to 
uh, finally get in a water tank. Lots of stuff. And let's see. We still only have one armed guard. Oh, well, we're about to have two, so that's actually, I'm happy about that. Let's get in a, another security console. Let's up the speed again. And then you see how long these visitors are have been here? Um, let's recycle that. Oh, there's spares out there. Oh, I'll be very upset if they let those go bad. Is our storage full? No, our storage isn't full. Let's take everything off of priority. Well, I want our engineers on that. Um, sometimes the priority buttons, when you set the priority, they're going to ignore other tasks uh, in favor of doing what you ask them to, uh, which means things like our spares can uh, sit out in that field forever. Hopefully they'll grab them before, they're, before they disintegrate. Would uh, not be pleased about that. I think, pretty sure we paid a premium for those. Okay. And we planned this out in the last episode as well, so this should all look familiar. As soon as this is up, I'm gonna take down that one connection. And again, we're, we're taking it nice and slow. I don't wanna, um, I wanna keep, keep our spares and semiconductors and all of that. I wanna keep all of that going. So I don't want to, to build too much so they don't have the metal to, to do that. And a trader. Oh, this, I want this. Can we afford this? Oh, this is gonna be tough. Twenty-seven. That leaves us with very little medical supplies, so we're not going to be uh, very little medical plants. So we're not going to be able to kind of restockpile our medical supplies. Oh, I forgot I have some coins. Let's give them all these coins, and we'll take back some plants. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh, I'm very happy. Of the, there's three patents that I really want. The solar panel, the driller bot, and the constructor bot. So I am extremely pleased to get this, even if it is going to kind of reduce our stock some. Uh, I don't want to give away all our materials though. Okay, this is probably good. Trade, oh, and I only have one airlock on this side of the base. Darn it. Is it even worth trying to put one in? I guess we could try. And if not, it'll be in for next time.
that doesn't look... Will I be able to fit all of them in here? Okay. We can. Um, I am... Oh, no. Did I turn that off? I did not. Turn off the landing pad. Uh, that's one little uh, trick that you can do. As soon as they land, um, you can go ahead and turn off uh, your star ports because they take so much energy. So really, you only need them up for a little bit, and then all your trade and visitor ships won't be. It won't be so much power. Um, I don't expect we'll have enough power to keep. Um, a whole bunch of starports on without worrying about it for quite a while. And this is actually perfect timing. Not this episode, but probably next episode I'm going to uh, uh, concentrate on our power grid. <sighs> so happy. Such a good deal. Um, I'll concentrate on our power grid and it will help a lot if all of the if I can put in permanent solar panels. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a good episode. For me. I have no idea what it's like for you guys. Okay, and again, we want to keep, kind of keep this five metal in mind, so I'm not going to build anything until, until we get a little bit more metal. Uh, just because. We have three semiconductors and an extra gun. Oh, and what do you have? A driller bot patent, perhaps? A carrier bot. Uh, tomato. I actually like the tomato. The tomato is the one thing that I like next, just because, as you can see, uh, we have tomatoes in our... Do I want to... Um, do I want to buy some metal? I think I do. Yes, we're going to take that. Do they have coins? Okay, we'll get some coins that will help a little bit. And... Oh, we're down to 88. That's perfect. <laughs> there is a there is no risk of intruders right now. I'm gonna turn on visitors and colonists. Uh, visitors and colonists, because we have an extra gun for another guard, and we have two armed guards now. Two armed guards, one more will make three, which is not perfect, but I think the first round or two of invaders is a, is a relatively small group, so so that won't be too bad. Uh, we have an extra metal, so we're going to continue putting in a connection. And we'll turn that off. And we need to start thinking about getting in some uh, getting our bar in. Well, they're pretty happy. Oh, they're happy. Usually, the a lot of times, not usually, a lot of times the visitors come in and their morale is completely drained. Uh, and when the, if that's the case, it takes a long time to uh, look at a TV in a potted plant. Whereas our colonists, if you take a look at them, it's kind of low. So if they watch the TV, they look at the plant, it brings it up and they're just fine. Uh, the visitors, when their morale is low, they can really use, use a drink. <laughs> and they can keep drinking uh, one right after the other until their morale goes up, which means they 
restore their needs faster, they leave faster, we make more money. Uh, so a bar is definitely worthwhile if you if you like to to use the the visitor aspect. Some people don't. They just don't see the point and they keep their base closed. Let's see how many guards we got. And one more guard. That's fine. I'm going to turn off colonists for now. And the reason why I'm turning off colonists is because I don't want to expand our base. And if I keep accepting colonists, I'll need to grow more food. And if I have to grow more food, it's biodomes and storage and cafeterias and all of that. And I, I want to... I want to get some of the more tech. I want to fix our power grid. Um, maybe get the, the large patents before I grow the base any further. Uh, I want the meteor laser. We have two semiconductors, and I was going to put it over here and join these two sides. So hard. Let's put in a power collector. How much water do we have? More than enough. Let's delete this. I'll probably regret that in just a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna delete that. That's five metal, which is cutting through, cutting into our stockpile that I wanted to have. But we're not producing spares, so that's one less we need. Um, yeah, I think. I've uh, droned on long enough for this episode. And we're going to go ahead and, and end the episode now. Um, the next episode will kind of pick up where we left off. Maybe I'll increase the speed so, so there's uh, some progress. Or maybe you'd prefer if I um, just pause the recording and kind of edited out the, the slow parts. Um, I really don't know. I, I know, <laughs> uh, some people, I think some people that, uh, that actually watch these videos like the, the slow pace. They like being able to see, uh, everything that's going on. Um, so let me know if you're bored with the, with the pace of this. Uh, if you are, I can always... Uh, do some do some of this off camera or uh, pick up the speed of the game um, if you care either way let me know okay thank you very much for watching and this is the end of the episode <laughs>